called Cyclops. I made him a convertible. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be looking at the most celebrated and groundbreaking episodes of the original X Men the Animated Series. Beware, there will be mutant sized spoilers ahead. The crystal shall be buried forever. Number 10 Night of the Sentinels, Part 1. It's quite fitting that one of the best episodes of X-Men the Animated Series is the program's first ever. The story focused on teenage foster child Jubilee as she runs away from home to evade the mutant control agency. Why is this happening to me? I used to be a normal kid. It's not my fault. After a terrorizing attack from a sentinel at a shopping mall, Jubilee is not only saved by a group of uncanny superheroes, but is taken in by them. It's then that we are introduced to Professor X and his school for gifted youngsters. This is Professor Xavier's school for the gifted. Gifted, huh? I getcha. That's a nice way of saying mutants, weirdos, like me, like all of us. From iconic characters on display to an epic theme song, the action-packed pilot truly was everything comic book fans were looking for in a cartoon adaptation for their beloved X-Men. Of course, the best was yet to come. Number nine, Till Death Do Us Part, part one. Much like the series premiere, the first episode of season two also made quite the impact. That's because it featured the wedding of fan favorite characters Scott Summers, Cyclops, and Jean Grey. Do you, Scott Summers, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. But that's not the only reason this episode stands out. It's also the first complete appearance of X-Men baddie, Mr. Sinister. Enjoy your revenge, Morph. I know I am. And when anti-mutant sentiments at a fever pitch, we get up close looks at some of the show's political figures, President Robert Kelly and controversial mutant cynic, Graydon Creed. You were elected to protect us from mutants. <laughs> Add in the return of the presumed dead morph, and you've got one heck of a way to kick off the show's second season. Why did they leave me to die? Number eight, One Man's Work, part one. Nobody does time travel like the X-Men. What the heck is that? We're too late. In this season four episode, One Man's Work, part one, kicked off a wildly compelling story that presented plenty of new dynamics for our heroes. Inspired by the Age of Apocalypse comic book event, the episode begins in an alternate timeline where Professor X is deceased, and the X-Men are led by the vengeful Magneto. Look. Enter Time Traveler's Bishop and Shard to prevent Professor Xavier's execution. I can't believe it. All of this destruction, all of this misery, is due to the absence of one man? One of the most important men in history. What proceeds is nothing short of classic X-Men fare. Along with familiar themes around prejudice and salvation, this episode showed that X-Men the Animated Series was not afraid to tackle incredibly ambitious story arcs. No! Number seven, The Cure. If you're looking for the most riveting episode of X-Men the Animated Series, you perhaps don't need to look any further than season one's ninth episode. I always thought you had a soft spot for that Cajun. About as soft as you, fathead. You gonna shut up or am I gonna have to help you? This emotionally wrought tale centers around Rogue and her tragic inability to touch anyone due to her powers. We quickly learn that not all mutants see their powers as a gift. But some mutants might welcome the chance to become normal. Yeah, who? Seeking out a cure for the mutant X gene, our Southern Belle hero eventually comes to embrace who she is, despite the excruciating loneliness her power brings. I am my powers and the good they can do for my friends and for the whole world. I reckon maybe I can live with that after all. It's a surprisingly powerful journey, and it's also an example of how X-Men the Animated Series often tackled storylines better than the X-Men feature films did. Yes, we're looking at you, X-Men The Last Stand. Number six, Nightcrawler. X-Men the Animated Series was beloved, in part for its excellent character introductions. Magneto, I presume? And in this episode, we are giving a fitting introduction to the standout X-Men character, Nightcrawler. Heartless fools, they know not what they do. 
While on vacation in a Provencio German village, Ro, Gambit, and Wolverine encounter the kind-hearted, demonic-looking monk. There, you are safe now. <gasps> Please, you do not understand. From there, the story expertly unravels themes around morality and self-acceptance. You see, Nightcrawler is discriminated against because of his appearance and must come to terms with the societal biases sent his way. My appearance does not make it easy. Don't it make you crazy? It did once. It's yet another instance of animated program tackling complex issues with poignancy. Plus, the visual of tough guy Wolverine praying at a cathedral is extra touching. You turned away and you comforted me. I will trust and will not be afraid. Number five, Time Fugitives Part Two. It's highly likely that X-Men the Animated Series is one of the main reasons why 90s kids grew up loving the character Cable. This season two story arc marked Cable's first appearance in the series. I can't help Apocalypse! The logic is mathematically simple. Millions must die in the past so that future billions may be born. And like other episodes, Time Fugitives adapted a popular comic book storyline, Legacy Virus. Bishop is correct. The virus was genetically engineered. It doesn't appear to be lethal now, but it is dangerously unstable. The two episode tale pitted time travelers Bishop and Cable against one another in some time traveling one upmanship. I got a job to do, and I can't let you do it. Yep, the series goes full sci fi in this episode and delivers a wildly entertaining viewing experience in the process. It also displays just how good the show is at combining intricate storylines with challenging social commentary. Did we mention how badass Cable is? We have the cure now, Apocalypse. Your virus is useless. <laughs> Number four, The Phoenix Saga, part five, Child of Light. The Phoenix Saga is a classic storyline from the X-Men comics that has been adapted many times over. And while none of the big screen retellings managed to capture the epic spirit of the fiery tale. When I lose control, things happen, bad things. The consensus is that X-Men the Animated Series nailed it. In season three's climatic Child of Light, we are treated to Jean Grey's ultimate transformation into the Phoenix. There's also a pretty intense battle with the Imperial Guard. In the end, the series captured the essence of the saga with plenty of stellar visuals and emotionally stirring moments. Crystal shall be buried forever. Jean's internal conflict was on full display and was the gravity of the story. I never thought I'd say it, Logan, but there's nothing we can do. Number three, the final decision. It can't be stressed just how great X-Men the Animated Series was straight out the game. And its first season finale did not disappoint. The episode is jammed with unforgettable moments like the X-Men teaming up with Magneto to stop the Sentinels and Scott and Jean getting engaged. Jean, I've been wondering. Yes? I've been wondering, will you marry me? Cyclops. The most badass sequence, however, belongs to Wolverine. Battling a group of sentinels in a pitch black cavern of sorts, the fight is illuminated only by the giant robot's laser blast. And in a fitting bookend to the series premiere, we get Jubilee joining the fight with invigorated passion. I'm not a kid anymore. It really was the perfect button for the first season's storyline. We must not forget that mutants are human beings. We must be careful that in controlling mutants who abuse their powers, we do not oppress those who would use their powers for the good of all humanity. Number two, The Dark Phoenix Saga, part four, Fate of the Phoenix. X-Men the Animated Series took its time with the Jean Grey story and in doing so, delivered two remarkable multi-episode Phoenix Sagas. This late season three episode was the incredible, not to mention heartbreaking, conclusion. Jean's tragic fate is played out faithfully to the events in the comics. It expertly captured all the key ingredients needed to tell the story. It was ultimately about Jean's sacrifice and overcoming corruption, all while fighting constant inner turmoil. 
Gene, you're not evil. And when the dust settled, the heart-trending episode gave way to one of the most breathtaking endings of any TV show ever. My time here has ended. I must depart. Taking notes, movie studios? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Days of Future Past Part 1 Remember what we said about X-Men the animated series adapting classic storylines with ease? Well, this is yet another example. It also happens to be the finest episode of the show's original run. I'm getting a jumble of images. Dark, frightening. Introducing Bishop, the story becomes a riveting time travel journey where alternate timelines and dystopian futures are on full display. Must be getting rusty. I'll say. In fact, the show seemingly weaves these alternate past and present worlds all while keeping the action going with some dynamic sequences. And with different character motivations fully explored, the essence of the X-Men shines brightly. It all boils down to the best offering from the iconic animated series. And that's saying something, bub. Then I want you to tell me one thing. Which one of us is the assassin? Which episode of X-Men the Animated Series made you a fan? Did we miss any standout stories? Share your picks in the comments down below. The key is to reach the subconscious mind. The subjects must be repeatedly exposed to a simulation of extreme emotional trauma. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.